Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday. I am back from my business trip, still a little bit tired and poofy and with bags under my eyes, but happy to be home. Um, so today I'm doing a tag video and this is called the forever pieces in my collection tag and i was tagged by the absolutely beautiful inside and out leo lion lv thank you linda very much for tagging me in your video you are truly not only a beautiful lady on the outside but you are truly a wonderful person on the inside. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get started because we're here to see what my forever pieces are. So the first thing I want to say is um, I am a little bit of a hoarder. So I like to keep my things. I love, I just love really beautiful things like a lot of us do. Um, but I also am really into tradition and handing things down from a generation to a generation. For this video, I only looked at handbags because I have many other forever pieces that I would not get rid of. And I say would not get rid of, taking into consideration, we're not gonna talk about if there was a terrible circumstance, if there was a health issue in my family uh, and I needed to get money. I, we're not gonna think about that because if it was something like that that it's fair game. Everything is fair game. If I needed to sell everything, I would sell everything except for my dogs. But um, so we're not going to think about those extenuating circumstances. We're just thinking about, um, you know, your forever pieces. But like I was saying, I, I, um, I have, for example, things handed down from my grandmother to my mother or to me um, that I would never get rid of. And that includes jewelry. It includes some... Uh, uh, silverware it includes you know different things like that um, so I am a traditionalist in that style um, I, I don't have any daughters so I am not quite sure what I'm gonna do with all of that um, hopefully my sons will marry very nice ladies but um, anyhow yeah so I am going to keep this video to handbags and I think you're gonna be a little bit surprised when you see what my forever items are I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you in the order that I purchased them um, or, 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 or received them. So, and I'll um, hopefully get it right. So, the very, very first bag I'm going to show you, and this again, probably a surprise to you, is a Dooney and Burke bag. I, I think it's called the Surrey or the Surrey, and I'll, I'll, I'll insert the name, I'm not sure. Um, but I purchased this in the early 1990s. This is an all leather bag. It is very well used and loved, but I think that for the amount of use that I gave it, and frankly, I've never cleaned it, I'm looking at it now, um, it's in really pretty good shape. So I bought this for myself in the very, very early 90s at Burdines, which no longer exists. And if you are from um, the area, uh, if you are from Florida, you know who Burdines was. Burdines eventually got bought up by Macy's. Anyhow, so I bought this for myself. Uh, I was married at the time uh, to my uh, children's father and um, always worked and decided that I wanted to really treat myself. And these bags were very much in style and popular. And this is a made in USA bag. And I went ahead and bought it for myself. And um, although I haven't used this bag in decades, I have an attachment to it and I would really never sell it. It's made in the USA, which is something that has always been important to me. And it just kind of signifies I don't know, the beginning of my life as a married professional woman. So this is one of the bags that I would not sell. Okay, the next bag is going to be this one right here. And this is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. And I'll show you her handles, poor things. 
I received this from my husband, my second husband, in 2001 as a gift. Um, it is the only luxury handbag he has ever purchased for me. He purchased it for me because I pretty much bullied him into it. I'm just kidding. But yes, I strongly suggested that he purchase it for me and he unwillingly purchased and I still remember his face and his um, reaction when he was like, this is how much money? I can't believe this. All this money for a bag? And yes, so anyhow, this is a very well-loved Speedy 30. He bought it for me in 2001. And I used this bag non-stop for a few years. I am surprised that she is in such wonderful shape because I used her like crazy and eventually put her away for some time and then started using her again. Uh, I want to say in uh, 2015, 2016. But this is my second forever bag, the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. I'll never get rid of this. Okay. The next one is another bag that I purchased myself, and this is a coach bag. I fell in love with the bag. It has, as you can see, pink, which I do love. It's got leather flowers and leaves on the front, leather handles, and leather on the sides. I um, purchased this bag at the I, you know, I don't remember. I want to say I purchased this bag at the Coach Outlet years ago. So this would have been, I I honestly don't know. I want to say maybe 2007 or 2008, and I could be totally off, but I know it's, it's not now. And um, back, I, I love this bag. I wore, I wore this bag a lot. Um, I love the colors. I love the details. I had a lot of coach bags in my time, uh, leather, non-leather, etc. And, you know, I love them. And I have now really given them all away. And um, I think this may be the only one that I have left. And I've just kept it because I think it's a very beautiful bag. And um, I like it. So I have no plans to get rid of this one. The next one on my list is going to be this vintage Louis Vuitton bag. This bag is called the Amazon, and I don't know, they have a lot of, they have a few bags that are called the Amazon. Um, this is a bag from the 1980s, and although they have some other, um, they have some other bags that are, they have the same name, they are not the exact same. You can tell that this is definitely the older version. The newer version um, has, they're, they're just different. Like um, it's got a vachetta, it's got vachetta on it. This is not vachetta. This is, I have been told, pig skin. And um, bottom line is obviously you can't get this bag anymore. I bought this bag pre-loved. I purchased it through the Facebook um, group that I frequently speak to you about, the Louis Vuitton um, buy, Louis Vuitton Addicted Buy, Sell, and Chat group. It is vintage, it is used, it is well loved and worn, and I absolutely love it. I purchased it because I graduated high school in 1980. I loved the 80s and just having the a bag that was made in the 80s I just I just wanted it the other thing I let I love about this bag is that you don't have to worry about it getting dirty you don't have to worry about it getting wet I have taken this bag to Disney World when I when I go and it is perfect it has two compartments here and so you can put your cell phone you can put almost anything that you want yet it's still small enough and you can wear it crossbody that you can get on the rides and you don't have to worry about that big old purse and you don't know where to put it. So 
this is a bag that I would never get rid of. And it's got its flaws. Obviously, it's not perfect. Um, but it is it is a really, really beautiful bag. And it reminds me of the 80s, which is my era. Um, it's one pocket here. It's got a little slip pocket in here. And, um, and then it's got, obviously, the smaller pocket in the front. Um, I actually took it to Louis Vuitton after I purchased it and I was toying with the idea of uh, having them replace the zipper because the zipper has um, a little piece around here where it's opening up and eventually the zipper is going to break. And uh, the lady told me, and I know that some of you made comments that um, you didn't think it was correct, etc. But um, the lady told me that um, if I took it in for repair, um, I wouldn't get the I wouldn't get the same zippers that I have. You know the vintage. I wouldn't have the vintage um, zipper, and I would lose all of this because that's not what they use anymore. She also stated again that this is not Vachetta. Now I don't know if it is or it isn't, and it doesn't really matter to me. But the bottom line is I'm not taking it in because I don't want to lose the beauty and the correct characteristics of this bag. And you can tell that I have used it and you know, there, it's very loved. Anyhow, I do love this bag. It is from the eighties, love that era. And um, yeah, another one that's gonna stay in my collection no matter how old she gets. Cause you know, I did just turn 55 and I do believe that the older you get, the better you get. Well, for some things, anyhow. Um, let's go on to the next one. The next one is going to be this one right here. And this is my Alma BB in the Vernie leather with the, I think it's called the Alma BB flowers. I'll insert the name below. This was a limited edition that, um, they came out with in, I want to say it was, 2016 or was it 2017? I don't remember. I'll link it down below. Anyhow, she is in the Amarante color with the Vernie leather and the beautiful um, pink flowers and um, grommets and gold. She is absolutely beautiful. She also has her strap. Um, and I really, really, really love this bag. And this bag you can use for so many different things. The number one thing that I like about this bag, first of all, is that it's beautiful. But secondly, that you can fit a lot into here. So even though she is small and gives the appearance of being small, you can put a full size wallet in this if you wanted to, and you can put a lot in here. So I find that she's a super versatile bag. You can wear her just like this if you want to be kind of elegant and very ladylike or you can put the strap on it and you can wear it on your shoulder if you want to be hands-free so i find this to be a very very beautiful bag i debated at the time whether i should buy the pink one because there was a very there was the rose ballerine i would say um vernie leather color with the flowers and then there was this one and i debated because I really love, of course, the pink one, but then decided to get this one. And I'm really, really happy that I did because I've taken this like on a short trip where I couldn't take a lot of handbags and I've used this as my evening bag and she can pull it off totally. So yeah, so this is my other forever piece, the Louis Vuitton Alma BB with the flowers. Okay, and my my next one is this one right here. And this is a furla bag. And um, here she is. And I would never get rid of this bag because my oldest son gave it to me for Mother's Day um, two years ago. It was, he, he graduated college and um, was studying for the LSAT um, and got his very first job while he was studying for the LSAT. 
and um, that year for Mother's Day, he bought me this bag. So I would never ever get rid of it. I think that he bought it on his own. I was certainly not with him, but it's, it's a beautiful bag and it's very functional. Just open it up like this. Um, all leather and I've used it a lot. I've used it a lot for work and it's got the, um, it's got the feet at the bottom. So a very, very beautiful bag and of course a beautiful gesture from my son. So I would never, ever, ever get rid of this bag. Okay. And the very last bag that I have to show you, I wonder if you can guess which one this is. This is a bag that it took me a while to get. I thought I was never going to get it. And um, again, through um, a wonderful seller that I've met it at, through the Facebook group, I was able to get it. And this is my Louis Vuitton Amazon PM. This was released, it was a limited edition, released in 2016. At the time, I, I think it was the beginning of the year of 2016, and I could be wrong. But at that time, I really wasn't watching for uh, what LV was coming out with. I wasn't really paying that much attention. So this bag was released, I had no idea. By the time I realized that the bag existed, it was obviously sold out and impossible to get. I, I started looking for the bag and I continuously was looking for the bag. A couple of them came up for sale and either they were not full package or the asking price was just too much in my opinion. And I, I just, I couldn't get it, you know, or it wasn't, I wanted it in excellent condition. I wanted it just like if I had gone to the Louis Vuitton store and I finally was able to get it. I purchased this last year, again, from a seller in the Facebook, in the Louis Vuitton Addicted Buy, Sell and Chat group. And it basically looked unused absolutely beautiful and so I finally got it so because it is so limited because it took me months and months and months to be able to find her and because she is absolutely beautiful in my opinion this is the last one in my forever bag collection so I hope you enjoyed this video Please let me know what you thought of my choices. Um, leave me your comments down below. I, I can tell you that I did have to think about it quite a lot because of course I love everything that I have. So I really don't want to, I, I wouldn't want to get rid of anything. But I really, really um, started thinking about it um, and, and, and like, okay, what, what would I really, really, really not get rid of? And these are the bags. These are the winners that I would not get rid of my collection. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your Sunday and I will see you soon. Bye.